God created the world, the planets, the earth, the animals, and all of the nature as we know it. Everything was so beautiful and perfect. However, God felt something was missing, someone who could enjoy everything he had created. It was then that God decided to create two beings in his image, who could sing, create, enjoy, improve, and from there, men and women were born. Satisfied with all his creations, God decided to retire to his house to rest. A month later, someone knocked on God's door, and God thought, so strange, what could have happened for them to knock at my door? Never in all eternity has it happened. When he opened the door, he saw the man and the woman. They argued and complained to God about each other. And God said, my children, please don't get upset. I made you perfect in my image. I gave you a wonderful world where you have everything you need to be happy, enjoy, focus on all the good things you have, not with what you don't have. Understand each other and be patient with each other. They agreed with God, took this advice and they left. Another month had passed when God realized that there was someone knocking on his door. And God thought, it's not possible. In all eternity, I have heard knocking at my door. And now in just two months, this is the second time. What could have happened? When he opened the door, it was the man and the woman again. The complaints were like the previous months. And God said, my children, I ask you to not surrender to the bad things, but to the coldless things you must enjoy and be happy. I gave you everything you can dream. So just enjoy. And they went back to their life. Another month passed, the episode repeated itself and God distressed, organized a meeting with all the gods. In the meeting, God said, dear gods, please help me. I made the biggest mistake of my life. I created a man and a woman, and since then, every month they come knocking at my door, complaining about each other. They always come sad and angry. I don't know what to do. I have gave them absolutely everything one could want, but they do not enjoy it. It seems that they just focus on what they don't have and create their own bad situations. I need to hide myself from them because they wouldn't leave me alone. One of the gods suggested, my God, why don't you hide yourself in the highest peak of the Himalayas? It's so high and so cold, they will never find you. And God replied, you don't know what I have done. I have created them in my image. One day they will reach the top of the Himalayas. Then another God said, I know where you need to go, my God. Hide yourself in the deepest of oceans. It's so dark and so cold, they will never find you. A third God suggested to God hide himself in the moon. And the answer was always the same. They will find me there. And finally, a younger God just said, why you don't hide yourself inside their hearts? And that's where God remains hidden until today. So all the decisions you take with your heart are blessed. Never forget to listen only the hours your heart. Thank you and see you soon.